you've taken your suitcase out of the trunk of a car and head towards an automatic door. Beyond it is an airport where you must check in, pass through security, and board a plane. Before this plane transports you to a far off land, its pilot reminds you that you must turn on airplane mode. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, great. Portrait of a man named Wallace Cotton, a writer for popular travel website, The Points Guy. He's just landed at Denver International, perhaps one of the most peculiar airports in all of America. For years, it has been the subject of a number of elaborate conspiracy theories, and Wallace is here on assignment to investigate them all. In a moment, he'll be greeted by the airport's public information officer, Stephanie Figueroa. Together, they'll traverse the vast grounds of the terminal to unearth the truth behind its mystery. Or at least, attempt to. Wallace? Stephanie, hey, it's great to finally meet you in person. Nice to meet you too, how was your flight in? Uh, it was all right, I, I tried to get some sleep, but this guy next to me, he kept freaking out about a monster on the wing of the plane. Oh, that's odd. Well, I can assure you there are no monsters here that I know of. That's good to know. So which conspiracies are we diving into? So there are five that I want to hit for the article. Uh, the uh, coordinates of the airport, the tunnels underneath the airport, the cursed Mustang statue, um, the airport's gargoyles, and the Freemason time capsule. OK, great. We can definitely hit all of those. Let's start with the tunnels. Great. Oh, oh before we go, um, instead of writing down notes, I was going to just, just use this uh, audio recorder. Is that, is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to pick up any like weird airport frequencies, am I? Mm, I don't think so. You should be fine. All right, cool. Uh, should we go? Let's go. So how we get into uh, the tunnels from here? You'll see. Okay. That wasn't creepy at all. So how long you worked here? I worked here a little over a year. I'm in the communications team as public information officer. Wow, so you must uh, know this place like the back of your hand. I sure do. Here we are. So tell me about this section of the airport. Rumor has it that these tunnels contain uh, survival bunkers for the world's elite and are home to aliens and the Illuminati. How much of that is true? So none of that is true, actually. Our tunnels are used to transport luggage mainly. You'll see over a thousand workers down here any given day. They're working through our baggage handling system, which is what's used by TSA to scan luggage, you know, make sure everything's clear and secure. There's also a train that runs parallel. Where does that door lead to? Oh, that doesn't lead anywhere. Do you need special clearance for a door that leads nowhere? Yeah. I mean, no. You know what? Why don't we go to those coordinates? OK. <sighs> this is it? Yep. So you're telling me that the coordinates that the aliens gave the humans in Close Encounters of the Third Kind doesn't actually lead you to Denver International Airport? Just this empty field. That's so disappointing. I always thought it was based on a true story. I'll give you a second to take it in. I'm gonna head back to the car. cursed? A lot of people interpret the statue as a reference to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It's even said that the statue killed the artist that made it. So no, Mustang is not cursed. 
And while it is true that a piece of him fell on artist Luis Jimenez while he was making it, and he unfortunately passed away due to the injuries, his sons and studio staff helped finish the piece, and Mustang had long been in the works. Passengers can see him when they're flying over the airport or driving down Peña Boulevard. He was created to respond to the strength and dynamic energy that embodies the American West. Hmm. The time capsule beneath this stone contains messages and memorabilia to the people of Colorado in 2094. New World Airport Commission. New World, as in New World Order. Actually, no. It's meant to read New World Airport Commission. And while that commission doesn't exist, the three organizations listed under that do in fact exist. But that's totally a Freemason symbol. I mean, who made the plaque. So it is a Freemason symbol. There are actually two Grand Lodges in Colorado of the Freemasons. And while that organization is subject to its own conspiracy theories about being a secret society and all that, they're really just involved in the opening of public buildings across the country. And what's inside? I don't know. I'm sure someone does. Oh, it's happening again. Is there something wrong with your recorder? Yeah, you don't hear that? I don't hear anything. Look, there he is. Who? He was, he was just there a second ago. Wallace, what's going on? When we were in the field, my audio recorder started picking up these weird radio frequencies. Then when I looked out, there he was, an alien. You weren't kidding. Listen, I can promise you there are no aliens in this airport. Aliens don't even exist. You're right, what am I saying? Uh, I'm probably just tired from the long flight. Uh, we have one more stop to go. Why don't we just hit it, and then I'll get out of here, and I will take a long nap. Sounds good. All right, cool. Man, these things are creepy. Aren't Girl Girls evil? Like, surely this is just another indication of the New World Order, right? Actually, gargoyles are meant to be protectors. Historically, gargoyles are placed on buildings to protect the site. This gargoyle by artist Terry Allen sits just above travelers' heads and baggage claim to ensure the safe arrival of luggage. I still think it's creepy. I think he's a cutie patootie. Oh, I have to take this. I'll just be a second. No problem. I know you're following me. Where are you? Show yourself. I'm not afraid of you. Coward. now? Uh, bye. Uh, okay. Let us know when the article's out. Come on, Wallace. What is going on? Am I going crazy? Stephanie, did you see that? There, there, there's an alien over there. There's no way. Is there something wrong with your recorder? Yeah, you don't hear that? I don't hear anything. That's impossible. I know I heard it before. You can't believe everything you hear. The mysteries of Denver International as you have it are nothing but myths, false ideas, fabrications of the mind. 
Whether the extraterrestrial Wallace spotted was a fabrication of his own mind, however, has been submitted for your approval. Access granted. You nearly compromised our entire operation. What have I told you about sneaking around the airport? Sorry, Steph. I'm just a huge fan of the points guy. I only wanted to ask Wallace what credit card I should open first. Credit card? You don't even have a social security number. Oh yes, that's right. I almost forgot. Oh. <sighs>